Hey guys, it's Dr. Oob. I want to talk to you a little bit about estrogen dominance and estrogen imbalance in women. Uh, many women these days are having painful periods, um, heavy periods, um, mood swings during their periods, and they're just told to take a birth control pill. That's the only way to regulate their hormones, and that's just the only option. But there's other options out there, something called estrogen dominance, um, which basically means you have too much estrogen and not enough progesterone or testosterone. And this syndrome is usually uh, coincides with PCOS. So the conventional medical doctors call it PCOS because the thing you can find on exam or on ultrasound is multiple cysts inside the ovaries. And so that's what polycystic ovarian syndrome is, PCOS, polycystic multiple cyst in the ovaries. But that's really just a finding. It doesn't really tell you what's going on inside the body. What's actually going on inside the body is there's too much estrogen. So why is there too much estrogen? The most common reason for too much estrogen is too much sugar in the diet. For whatever reason, I don't think we know in medicine, or at least I don't know, eating too much sugar causes elevated insulin. Elevated insulin levels causes insulin resistance. Basically, your body's just not responding to the insulin, and it's taking more insulin to control the blood sugar than it should. And these insulin levels, as they start to rise, they affect how you break down your hormones and how you utilize your hormones. So then your estrogen stops working that much, and then your estrogen levels rise. And as the estrogen levels rise, then you get the cyst in your ovaries, and then you get the painful periods, and then you get heavy periods. And then if that goes on long enough, then your periods get irregular because then you don't, you don't even have the estrogen fall to stimulate a period. So some women can go months. I've even seen women go years without a period, and that's all estrogen dominance. And actually, that raises your risk for cancer. A brand new study that just hit my inbox today, released in October 2016, very hot off the press, talked about how we can use CA-125, which is a lab level, to determine if you have endometriosis. It's not a great test, but it's pretty darn good. So it's 50% effective at telling you whether you have endometriosis or not. So what that means is if you have endometriosis, then this level is 50, has a 50% chance of telling you whether you have it or not. If the level is elevated, it pretty much tells you that you have a 90-something percent chance that you actually actually have endometriosis. Now it can also be a marker of cancer, so if it's elevated you may want to do an ultrasound to rule that out, but it's yet another way to tell if you're having any symptoms or signs of elevated estrogen levels, which would be called estrogen dominance. It doesn't really tell you what to do about it. The conventional doctors will tell you the only way to treat it is to fry it with surgery by going in there with cameras and eradicating it, but I'm going to tell you that if we can reduce your estrogen levels and improve the way you metabolize estrogen and get the estrogen out and rebalance those female hormones, whether we're doing it, we're doing it just by working on the estrogen, raising the progesterone, raising the testosterone, um, or just fixing your blood sugar. It doesn't matter. As long as we get the estrogen levels down, then the endometriosis should get better because it's basically being stimulated to grow by estrogen. So if you lower the estrogen, it just makes sense that it's not going to stimulate the growth. One thing I like to test in my patients is an enzyme called COMT. Um, it's an enzyme that helps you break down estrogen. If this estrogen is broken down appropriately, then it doesn't cause a problem. But many women, especially if you suffer from anxiety, you have a mutation in your COMT uh, enzyme. And this enzyme is sluggish when it's mutated. And then you don't break down your estrogen as quickly, and that causes the symptoms of estrogen dominance that we just talked about. So you can speed up this enzyme using um, supplements. So one of the things that's very common is DIM, uh, D-I-M. It's basically basically the active ingredient in broccoli. Uh, the active ingredient in broccoli is called I3C, and that I3C turns into DIM, and the DIM is actually the part that speeds up the breakdown of your estrogen. It also decreases the type of estrogen metabolites that you make that cause cancer. So there's three metabolites that uh, contribute to cancer uh, from estrogen breakdown. There's two, four, and 16. The 16 and the four are both cancer causing when you break down estrogen that way. The two is actually protective of cancer. So if you had to choose which way you broke down your estrogen, you would probably choose the two to reduce your cancer rates, right? Well, it turns out that just eating broccoli, and I'm, I'm by broccoli, I mean all the cruciferous vegetables, by eating broccoli or taking extra DIM or I3C, you can boost the breakdown of estrogen into the two metabolite instead of the other cancer-causing ones. Moreover, it also helps you speed up the estrogen breakdown so that you don't suffer from those estrogen-dominant effects. The other ingredient that you want to look for in your uh, product to reduce your estrogen levels is something called calcium D-glucurate. This is a substrate that basically goes into your gut, and there's bacteria in your bowels that as you break down your estrogen, these bacteria actually reactivate the estrogen and put it right back in the bloodstream. And so here you are suffering from estrogen dominance, and you're trying to get rid of this estrogen, and bacteria is putting it back in the bloodstream. And so this calcium D-glucurate uh, substance, it's, it's found in, in supplements. You can take it, and it blocks 
blocks that activation from uh, the bowel bacteria back into the estrogen. So once you detoxify the estrogen, you want to get rid of it. You want it to go out. And so that's one way to do it. Another thing I've had tremendous success in uh, with my females lately, uh, especially the ones that suffer from anxiety and decreased libido or decreased sex drive, is by putting in testosterone pellets in them. So a testosterone pellet is a little pellet. It's placed under the skin and it boosts the testosterone levels. And the reason why it works is because testosterone, contrary to popular belief, is not an aggressive agent. It doesn't make women aggressive. It doesn't really make men aggressive when used in the appropriate amounts. It's actually kind of a chilling hormone, an anti-anxiety hormone for women. Uh, it boosts muscle uh, mass and, and fat loss, and so it's got additional benefits, and it boosts the sex drive. But the big reason why I'm talking about it right now in the, in the scheme of estrogen dominance is testosterone has been found to boost the speed of the COMT mutation or enzyme in general. And so if we raise the testosterone levels, you can reduce your estrogen levels, which seems kind of funny, but it works. And we've used it on several patients and they're doing fabulous from it. Um, and the extra benefit is it's boosting their sex drive. Um, and at the same time, it's improving their mood. And so once your mood is improved, that improves the sex drive also. And then you're more likely to exercise and work out. So you're going to lose weight. Plus with the testosterone, it's going to boost the muscle mass. And so we've had great success with the testosterone. So in summary, the three things that we just talked about is DIM. Uh, the, spe the specific product I really like is DIM Detox by Pure encapsulations. It's got everything you need to boost your COMT enzyme and everything you need to break down estrogen. So you can look that up. I'll put the, the link to it um, in my comments. And then the second thing we talked about was um, the testosterone pellets. Uh, and then the, the calcium deglucurate, which is in the DIM Detox supplement. That was the third thing. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Share this for someone who you may know that may be struggling with difficult menstrual periods or stuck on birth control because they don't have any other options. Um, and so um, spread the word and, and help someone else out. And if this is something you're personally struggling with, don't hesitate to reach out to my office and call us uh, or email us to get in touch. Uh, I hope this is helpful, and I hope you have a good day.